Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Wednesday, August 3rd, 2022. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Three political parties in Nevis will contest their St. Kitts and Nevis National Assembly elections on Friday, August 5th, 2022. Two of the parties will contest the three seats in Nevis, while one of the parties will contest two of those seats. The parties contesting the election are in alphabetical order, the Concerned Citizens Movement, CCM, whose symbol is the hammer, the Moral Restoration Movement, MRM, a new party in Nevis which has been assigned the spade as a symbol, the Nevis Reformation Party, NRP, whose symbol is the bottle, a total of eight candidates will contest the three seats in Nevis. In an update issued on July 31st, Supervisor of Elections Elvin Bailey listed the candidates for each constituency, advising that this is the order in which they will appear on the ballot following the dictates of the National Assembly Elections Act. Constituency 9, Dr. Patricia Bartlett of the NRP, Mark Brantley of CCM and Samuel Keynes of MRM. Constituency 10, Eric Evelyn of CCM and Rowan Isles of NRP. Constituency 11, Dr. Janice Daniel Hodge of NRP, Alexis Jeffers Creeley of CCM, Patricia Mills Jeffers of MRM. Meantime, in an update issued on August 2nd, Supervisor of Elections Elvin Bailey noted that a total of 50,933 persons are eligible to vote in the National Assembly elections, 38,015 voters in St. Kitts and 12,918 voters in Nevis. 6,669 persons are eligible to vote in the constituency of Nevis. Nevis 9, the parishes of St. John's and St. Paul's. Polling Division 1 at the Church of God in Cox has 476 voters. Polling Division 2 is divided into two stations. Polling Station 2A at Elizabeth Primary School has 355 voters with surnames beginning with A to those whose surnames begin with K. Polling Station 2B and the old St. John's Primary School Annex has 332 voters with surnames beginning with L to those whose surnames begin with W. Polling Division 3 is divided into four stations. Polling Station 3A at Ivor Walters Primary School has 412 voters with surnames beginning with A to those whose surnames begin with D. Polling Station 3B at the Ivor Walters Primary School has 328 voters with surnames beginning with E to those whose surnames begin with L. Polling station 3C at Ivor Walters Primary School has 365 voters with surnames beginning with M to those beginning with R. Polling station 3D at the Sicily Brown Integrated School has 311 voters with surnames beginning with S to those beginning with Z. Polling Division 4 is divided into three stations. Polling Station 4A, located at Marion Heights, Education Department, Marion Heights, has 307 voters with surnames beginning with A to those whose surnames begin with G. Polling Station 4B, located at Education Department, Marion Heights, has 312 voters with surnames beginning with H to those beginning with M. Polling station 4C, located at the United Pentecostal Church, has 384 voters with surnames beginning with N to those whose surnames begin with X. Polling division 5, located at the Alberta Payne Center Bath, is split into two. Polling station 5A has 414 voters with surnames beginning with A to those beginning with J. Polling station 5B has 419 voters with surnames beginning with K to those beginning with Z. 
Polling Division 6, located at the Methodist Church Hall in Charleston, has two stations. Polling Station 6A has 396 voters, with surnames beginning with A, to those whose surnames begin with L. Station 6B has 338 voters, with surnames beginning with M, to those beginning with Z. Polling Division 7, located at the Magistrate Court, has 450 voters. Polling Division 8 has two stations at the Charlestown Primary School. Polling Station 8A has 445 voters with surnames beginning with A to those beginning with K. Polling Station 8B has 481 voters with surnames beginning with L to those beginning with Z. Polling Division 9 at the Courthouse has 144 voters. 1,845 persons are eligible to vote in the constituency of Nevis 10, the parish of St. George's. Polling Division 1, located at New River Methodist Church, has 207 voters. Polling Division 2, located at Gingerland Preschool, has 233 voters. Polling Division 3, located at the Hard Times Building, has 339 voters. Polling Division 4 at Charles Walters Community Center, Hanley's Road, has 141 voters. Polling Division 5 located at the Charles Walters Community Center, Hanley's Road, has 565 voters. And Polling Division 6 located at the Gingerland High School has 360 voters. And I should add here that the entrance to the Gingerland High School is on the eastern side on the Estate Road, the Hard Times Estate Road. 4,404 persons are eligible to vote in the constituency of Nevis 11, the parishes of St. Thomas's and St. James's. Polling Division 1 at Nepak has 389 voters. Polling Division 2 at Jessup's Community Center has two stations. Polling Station 2A has 379 voters, with surnames beginning with A to those whose surnames begin with K. Polling Station 2B has 395 voters, with surnames beginning with L to those beginning with Z. Polling Division 3 at the Cotton Ground Community Center has two stations. Polling Station 3A has 323 voters, with surnames beginning with A to those whose surnames begin with K. Polling Station 3B has 357 voters with surnames beginning with L to those beginning with Z. Polling Division 4 at VOJN Primary School has two stations. Polling Station 4A has 369 voters with surnames beginning with A to those beginning with K. Polling station 4B has 419 voters, with surnames beginning with L to those beginning with Y. Polling division 5 at Trinity Methodist Church Hall has 472 voters. Polling division 6 at Franklin Brown Community Center has 405 voters. Polling division 7 is in two locations, Polling station 7A at the Church of God, Brooklyn, has 481 voters with surnames beginning with A to those beginning with Y and who live in Brooklyn and its surrounds. Polling station 7B at the Butters Community Center has 415 voters with surnames beginning with A to those beginning with Y and who live in Butlers and its surrounds. The lists of voters have been posted in each polling division of each constituency and the electoral offices in Bastyr and Charlestown and can be found on the website www.legal.gov.kn. Voters are encouraged to check these lists in advance of Election Day. Still to come, OAS and CARICOM to observe elections in St. Kitts and Nevis. The details after this break. Taxes are the lifeblood of a nation. Feel good about what your tax dollars do in Nevis. 
As a responsible citizen, your tax dollars protect our environment. Pay your taxes on time. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Welcome back. Following an invitation from the government of St. Kitts and Nevis, received on July 26, 2022, the Organization of American States, OAS, will deploy an electoral observation mission to observe the general elections in the country, scheduled for August 5, 2022. The mission, which is headed by former Prime Minister of Jamaica, Bruce Golden, is comprised of 11 experts and observers from nine countries of the region. They will work in person and remotely to observe areas such as electoral organization and technology, electoral justice, political finance, and the political participation of women. The mission began its initial deployment on July 30th. The chief of mission was expected to arrive on Tuesday, August 2nd, and to meet with government officials, electoral authorities, political leaders, candidates, representatives of civil society, and other relevant stakeholders. This is the fourth time the OAS will deploy an electoral observation mission in St. Kitts and Nevis. Following the elections, the mission will present a preliminary report with its observations, along with recommendations that will seek to support the continued strengthening of the electoral process in the country. This OAS mission is possible thanks to the financial contributions of the United States, Italy, and the Netherlands. Meantime, a seven-member CARICOM election observer team was scheduled to arrive in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis from August 1st, 2022, to observe the federal elections, which will take place on Friday, August 5th, 2022. The CARICOM team is led by Sase Gunraj of Guyana, the chief of mission. The team will comprise observers from Guyana, Antigua and Barbuda, Belize, Jamaica, Suriname, and Haiti. Observers do not intervene during an election. Instead, they produce reports which are circulated to national governments and their related departments, as well as being made publicly available, displaying the issues found alongside recommendations for the future. All of the activities are approached from a completely non-partisan perspective, and observation focuses on the electoral strengths and weaknesses rather than being concerned with the political outcome of any particular vote. This allows observation organizations a degree of legitimacy in assessing an election, which could not be gained from a national government, which could have an inherent bias. And that's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.